One. Greetings, my friends. Greetings. Welcome to IRS. All right. Uh, getting right to it. <laughs> you know how I like to just jump right into it, right? Okay, well, here we go. There's my channel. Please subscribe if you can. Astrolab. Here's the thing. I came across this thing um, not because of the flat earth, but because of... Uh, not, not because I was searching out uh, anything to do with the flat earth, but uh, just came across it. And uh, the Astrolab. Um, yeah, saw this in a video. I think it was Jaronism who, who tipped me off to this again. He's, he mentioned this. If you've ever heard of an Astrolab, check it out. Uh, and I have heard of one. This is uh, the city I live in, Ottawa, Canada. This is um, some dude holding a uh, astrolab. Um, I forget his name. I don't want. I, it's either Cartier or it's. Uh, it'll say right down here anyway. I should know this. One of the great founders of our land, and um, here he is here. Uh, so anyway, this is. Uh, there's a part of. Um, this is Champlain, right? There you go, Champlain. So, in case you don't know, uh, you might want to look this up. Uh, Astrolab, these things, they're they have about three hundred uses. Uh, really interesting stuff. I uh, was checking it out um, all yesterday. So, the inside ring is the ring of uh, where the sun and the moon will travel essentially and this would be like a <clears throat> a two-dimensional flat earth as you as you you know and also looking at the stars at the same time so if you know only two or three things um you know and you don't say for example the time of day and you know your position on the planet so you go you set the time uh the inside ring uh you know it, it goes in the anyway so you set one or two of these dials and then you'll know okay the sun is pointing in this direction here then therefore you must be you know whatever you, it has 300 uses it's a fantastic tool uh dating back um centuries uh, the iranians apparently uh were masters at this at the, in islam uh, far surpass their technology with uh with the astrolab they uh, pretty much added to it perfected it and they were not mass producing these but they were producing them at any rate and they're so expensive to produce that you know the best ones were being made in the middle east and uh then europe got their hands on it and changed it and whatever but anyway my point about this um this thing that led me to this video here. And um, I have no critique about the guy's Green. information, but what I was starting to notice was every time that the, that the maps would start to mention, he goes through a good history here of, of, of what he, you know, he plainly tells you what he knows and what he doesn't know. And it can be maddening sometimes when you see something in someone else's video and you're like, oh, my God, look at that. I'm totally I can't believe he didn't even mention that. You know what I'm saying? You're watching someone else's video and you're like, oh, look, every time they go and mention that the flat earth or that, that there is a round earth. Just check it out. OK, he he starts talking about this instrument here. But I noticed every time the they they were mentioning the history of it and how where these ideas came from you start to notice something and that's this fleur de lis and i know this is uh this one is from the middle east but if you actually start looking at it it's the fleur de lis is all over it so he starts talking about how you know they were trying to uh make a flat earth go around a, a round ball type uh and so to change all the maps and everything it, it really boggled the mind because this astrolab was already set in place for 1300 years and they were 
calculating where the planets were at any given time, where, you know, uh, what day of the time it is, what day of the month it is. You can get all this information from this little, the original computer, right? I mean, this is the original GPS, the original everything, the, the watch, the, um, it, like I say, it has 276 uses, I believe it is. Anyway, so, but the Fleur de Lis, I wanted to just touch on that because once you start seeing that they're trying to change history here and they're, and they're like, wonder where this comes from. And they touch on that it's, oh, it's Egyptian. He touches on that and uh, he mentions, he, he starts describing other parts of the um, Astrolab. Because here's one here that's like in a Times Square kind of thing. Instead of a clock, they have an astrolab up in their town square kind of thing. And um, you can see this throughout throughout Europe. They have these. It really is. But that doesn't mean it can't be used over here in the background. Okay. But um, the thing is, you start to see the flood de Lee every time he starts talking about the round earth and how they wanted to change it to the round earth. So I just wanted to mention that should be a major red flag. Whenever you start to look at the history of all this stuff, it was bugging me that he wasn't touching on this because traditionally it's the sign of the <clears throat> French royalty. And honestly, go to this guy's channel. I'm going to direct you to this guy's channel. And he talks about the Flo de Lis extensive, uh, ex you know, at extensively. He, he goes on and on about it. And it's this one right here where he talks about the Swiss and the Fleur de Lis. And every time you see that as a flat earther, you should get your tail up. Uh, you start looking at this more closely. You're going to see this on all the maps. All of a sudden it started to turn and get take on this weird kind of satanic look there, the dark with all the darkness that he was talking about there with the... Uh, there, here, right here. When he starts talking about, oh yeah, look at the death. The death skeleton. There, there's all kinds of stuff. There's a dark side to the asteroid. There really is. But that doesn't mean it can't be used. Well, not, not actually. There isn't a dark side. It's That's how they interpreted this instrument in Europe. And okay, the Swiss clockmakers, okay, I'll give it to them. The best in the world. They probably, they probably perfected this with the Germans, the, the, the German engineering and all you, you know, this, they would have perfected this. Okay. The, the, how the Muslims took it to second base, these guys would have knocked it out of the park and brought it all the way home. So yeah, man. So, but they started putting the fleur de lis on this to try and prove that the world was round at this point. So whenever you see this, you should definitely look a little closer as i say okay because i don't i know i don't have much time and people say this means a lot of different things to a lot of different people this is the sign for quebec okay it is you're right but originally these colors blue and gold was from this from the aristos aristocrats french see the coat of arms from the france modern Okay, so that's what you look out for on the maps. I'm not saying, oh, no, this is Quebec. They have the sign there, the flag that looks like that. Yeah, it kind of looks like that. But you know what? If actually you look into that, what does it? Okay, well, the guy says that the uh, French invented the Illuminati, and they just reside in Switzerland because it's next door and it's safer. So the Fleur de Lis, the family, the French family in Switzerland, it's probably a couple of families in Switzerland. It's not the Swiss themselves, the people or the country. It's the pact they made with these people centuries ago. It's Fleur de Lis, White House. I should have said U.S. I've got 30 seconds. Uh, maybe I should have just said White House. All right, well, if you've made it this far in the video, 
Uh, look at the White House. 